Hello my beautiful Gemini, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome, welcome to this channel. How are you? How really are you doing? I really hope you're doing really, really well. Gemini, this is going to be money, manifestation, business, finances, career and all the beautiful things you want and need in your life for a month of September 2023. Virgo season, harvest season in Northern Hemisphere. So what are you harvesting? What are you harvesting, Gemini? Let's have a look. Um, it is a probably challenging time because August wasn't as an easy and we have a lot of planets in retrograde. Some of them are coming out, but we'll touch more information about this in due course. But we'll have a look today, a little bit different. We'll have a look at where is your approach? What is Where is your head at? The room? Wow, it's so interesting. Queen of Pentacles keep popping in all the time so this is a good sign this is you this is how you see your career finances this is your approach towards uh all above let's have a look what are the obstacles i will pull more cards in shortly right let's have a look what are the obstacles nine of pentacles gratitude gemini okay Oh, thank you. Someone just said something very interest interestingly before I turn a card around. Someone just said, a little bit of something is better than the whole nothing. Makes sense to you? Have you heard this saying before? If you haven't, this is maybe new to you. So basically what means sometimes people want everything. And if they can't have it, I don't want nothing, right? But sometimes a little bit of something is better than the whole nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Food for thought. Okay. Now, outcome for the highest good, we have Vortex, Temptation, I'm not going to leave like that. Um, it's a Devil card, the Capricorn, so, wow. Three of Cups, Reunion. Things are getting spiced up indeed. Let's have a look. Now, what we have, we having Mercury is going to come out to retrograde mid-month, okay, so things might start to pick up. However, uh, and so does the Venus at the beginning of months and your confidence going to definitely return, right? However, we have Jupiter goes in retrograde and going to stay there till December in Taurus. So very often this is kind of um, what means stubbornness is not going to be the right approach. Flexibility is going to be that the right approach. And definitely regarding that uh, saying that I was saying um regarding a little bit something is better than the whole nothing is is really indicating towards stubbornnessnessnessnessness right right is so let's pull a couple more cards here let's have a look i have to say collectively i think this is a time where we don't put new seeds down right this is more time of harvesting what we have grown metaphorically and really looking at kind of like i feel like i would like to use this word inventory wow <laughs> inventory wow oh, oh, oh. wow oh my goodness you are going places so it does feel like there's some sort of inventory regarding what you're doing in your life what you're doing where you're going what have you done so far this year or in your life as well right Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. Let's find out what is... Let's have a look. What, 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 what? Hmm. I feel like some of you are spending a lot of time sitting or feeling like some things are not moving, maybe. Or working from home. Well, it's not novelty, but yes, we do do that. Two and two. What is interesting? You are leading from your heart right now a lot. Something that, maybe something that is hidden. But you feel like you're on the right track. Some some of you, I have to say, is you're, <laughs> either you are working in education or I'm feeling, I saw the pillars and those pillars reminded me of library in, in um, um British library. It's like massive, you know, we have the pillars and we have the, books everywhere and and it's kind of like you're covered with books like knowledge like as if like you're spending a lot of time like learning about money about maybe you're going through some course or studying um i feel like you are really educating yourself about how to make money or how to 
improve things or whatever it is. But you are in good place. You are not in a bad place. You might sometimes think you are not in a good place, but you actually are. But you want something more. However, High Priestess is really warning something here. And that's interesting is this. Keep yourself to yourself. Whatever you're building, and I'm, I have to say some of you are building something from home. Um, something that you don't want to kind of declare. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to judge, by the way. Okay. Uh, whatever you do is your business. Truly. Right. But something you're doing from home and you don't want to declare or you don't want to declare as an information to others. It's not public information. So you're keeping secret, perhaps. Right. And that's how you approach it. But I have to say, currently um, looking, it feels like you're, you're in a good place. Generally speaking, generally speaking, running money, because Queen of Pentacles is someone who knows how to um, manage funds how to manage life so there's a high priestess there's a lot of like a powerful yes it could be better granted but it has this kind of like i'm successful kind of feeling and something's brewing in there something you're brewing there <laughs> um, maybe literally you're brewing maybe wine at home you know they have these little packets that you can do so but i feel like more is that um you're other gathering information some of you are seeing is researching searching for something could be a person could be information there's some sort of secret involved as well perhaps right and that might not resonate with everyone just take whatever resonates right what are the obstacles overthinking mm -hmm. and wanting things quick wanting things very fast and quick right and when it doesn't come or happen, sometimes that can drive you crazy. That's probably everyone. Now, we have this is a card of Aquarius here as well. And this is a stardom. You are kind of maybe perhaps thinking, how can I make this faster? How can I make this quicker? Well, there's this cold word that is involved. It's called timing. When the time is right you are going to get where you need to get to. I feel like these seven chakras, these seven stars are representing seven chakras. We have 17, which is that kind of like you need to be in balance. If you're overworking or overthinking something, you need to be in balance with the body, mind and spirit, right? Maybe you need to kind of like meditate, maybe let go of certain things because I feel like some of you are maybe holding on too tight to something. Maybe you had some vision and goal, but you need to be maybe a little bit flexible. You can't just stick to, like, yeah, it's good to stick to your goal. But sometimes that approach might change. You're still on the, your path, right? But the approach might change. And don't let be, don't be too stubborn because that will really um, might affect you there. And as I was saying, the gratitude for where you're at and for the speed or for the opportunity that's given to you. Some of, I feel like some of you, um don't give yourself enough credit okay and you feel like oh i should be doing this and should be doing that someone else in the world would love to swap lives with you i know i never said this but i feel like um being patient and being grateful enjoy this learning period enjoy this uh period where you're learning doing something creating something or even if you're not creating and just having st stable life and security just enjoy Okay, um, some of you, I feel like, want to be uh, maybe famous or want to be a top, top leader, top manager or in the top charts, right? Like on top of leaderboard. And that sometimes it's good to have the drive. But is the question why you want this? And being honest, is this something that you would like to do? Is this something just you want because maybe there's more money? Yeah, I understand. I hear you. But is this just for, for sake of it? Okay. Now, let's have a look. What is the outcome for the highest good? Gemini. Mm. <laughs> Travel. Chariot is about on the move. There's a new car. New car we have here. And this is a movement as well, like no other. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so... You might have some um, interesting 
challenging conversations with um, people. You might call someone out or someone else might call you out or uh, someone might find what you do, right? Something you wanted to hide maybe or didn't want. Yeah, I just heard the uh, ringing in my left ear. So this is kind of confirmation as well. Interesting message. Thank you. Um, but you might be calling someone out. Maybe someone pretending to be a friend and then not. In your close circles. They could be, um, you know, and they could be saying, yeah, Gemini, go for it. There's something great idea. And when they start to see you progress and actually move forward, you have to change and moving forward. They're like, oh, they changed the tune. And you will see that. So maybe you have taken advice from this person. Perhaps no more. Something will happen. And that's important because that communication, that person or that sort of um, friendship or whatever you want to call it, is um, will, will make you, yeah, make some decisions. Okay. It will make you those decisions. However, uh, I feel like as well some of you are, hmm, I don't want to use the word running, but it feels like you are moving away from really, really unhealthy place. And this is money reading, so it is manifestation as well, not just for workplace as well, but maybe in your life in general, um, in your personal, professional life, you're moving away. You literally are packing your bags and off you gone. <laughs> and some, some of you could be actually not thinking. Um, you're thinking straight. You're very, very shrewd. And this is cancer air. Um, but it feels like it's quite um, feistiness. <laughs> quite some feistiness going on here. And well, look at the end of the month, we have as well, we have full moon and Aries. So this is definitely tempers and and, um, and, and emotions going to run high as well. Uh, there could be some change. Maybe you're moving a house or buying a new car or changing something, changing even tire. Someone just changed the tire. I could see it. OK, maybe you need to change a ticket tire. Maybe that is something, some um, health and safety kind of. Um, moment for you some of you may be checking you know maybe I need to check the tire are they okay to be safe you know I just saw it and I have to pass it on the message that's how it works okay uh, but however I feel in here is the outcome especially what we have is major major arcanas coming in which is it's not just your doing the universe is taking part in your life really take part taking where are you going what's happening and the journey you have chosen or path that you have chosen uh, or the path that chosen you, doesn't matter, is not going to be as maybe perhaps straightforward. But I think you're prepared for that. You are a very determined person, determined sign, right? And look, you have the shield in front. You're ready for whatever's come my way. Welcome. Be my guest. Uh, Self-discipline. Absolutely. You're going one way and that's up. Don't stop. And with or without this person or situation, you know, perhaps without, I don't know. I'm not here to judge. Um, but yeah, that sounds like interesting months indeed. Crossroads. Wow. You are unlocking some potential. Absolutely. Either you are looking <laughs> interesting. We have two, two and three, three. And we have three, three here as well. And we have two and two. So number two, three, 23, 22, 23, 33 is going to play some um, significance this month. So number two is duality. Okay. And seeing really kind of either partnering up or realizing what you're doing. Like so. But number three is a card of unlocking, um, unlocking potential as well. But it's a card of that there is your spirits, your guides are nearby. You are safe. So maybe you are unlocking some sort of uh, new potential two possibilities right so interesting i love the way the numbers actually work together um that is so so interesting so as i said you could be actually moving house and you're unlocking locking um unlocking the door or locking and moving away from something let's have a look and we have the house here hmm i feel like some okay with that with that in mind i've got to say is things that you took for granted could change things that were very settled could change okay so very um 
kind of basic things could change actually. Surrender. Flexibility. That's what I'm hearing, Gemini. Wow, thank you. Unexpected. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh, thank you. Self love. Oh my god, you're the third. I'm I'm doing from Aries. I started. Um, you're the third person sign who gets the self love. It is interesting that collectively, that self reflection, having that confidence, um, really digging deep and working on on yourself is super important and that in a dialogue how you speak to yourself how you treat yourself is very very important in business in your because look it's the mindset that separates the rest from the best right mm -hmm. that's the old one that's the old one however we have 43 unexpected and we have two ladies here like looking at the potential here like, like two plan planets here joining in that is so interesting duality so shoulda woulda coulda what's gonna happen as if like you have like kindred soul you have connected with or you have connected with yourself as if like you and your higher self you finally found yourself or really got together and you you're working towards a goal that you or you feel like you need to work into i feel like some of you are dreaming this is what i wanted this is what i want to do and that is amazing Let's have a look as well. What else? Well, about the crossroads, I just want to clarify this card here. Okay. Okay, thank you. What I'm feeling here is yeah, number six, which is um, happiness and past, maybe. And this is a card as well. Choose whatever makes you happy and if there is a path that you need to choose choose from your heart through your intuition not just from your heart and don't just let the emotions run in the show but don't just choose something that is quick and easy because knight of pentacles is someone who is moving but very slow like very slow perhaps right some other knights are more active but it's just a message of maybe sometimes there could be some opportunity or option and when you choose, it's not decision that you make, but why you're making it is it's important. What is behind that decision making? What was the strategy? What was your thought pattern? What was that why? The question why? I'm hearing why, 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 why? And being truly honest to yourself is going to be definitely very important. I'm feeling like you're building something here, especially with the Queen of Pentacles. You're building something for yourself. So if you want a longevity and, and maybe building some legacy um, and not having just promised get rich quick scheme, right? Oh, wow. Some card just turned around. Let's have a look. Wow. Guys, you can't make this happen. We have another two. Two cups. Oh. What makes you happy? What makes you tick? What makes you on the same level? You're going to meet some people who are interesting. Inspiration 1-1. One, one. Number 2. Gemini. What is going on? You are, I feel like here, inspiration. Look at this This card. I love this. Because it says inspiration. But all the energy I'm feeling here is like Leo in... With the, with the you know, sitting there with lionesses stroking her head and the leos and the lioness is happy so does the inspiration i feel like there's some undescribable force that is driving you and whatever happens in your life no one can take that away from you like you're like not saying you're a wolf not saying you're a loner but you have some sort of deep strong drive don't let that fire die keep you up answer yourself why you do what you do and that could be a very raw and important question and that answer could really help you to keep yourself um set on your goal right gemini what's about 
the journey let's have a look at road signs where are you heading go yay so green light baby green line it is green light oh yeah i see a lot of movement happening look well we have especially with the change in the chariot and we have the knights and it feels like this going kind of back and forth or there's you're going to meet people okay so it's not just my way or highway and this is a card as well being flexible and not becoming too stubborn and not seeing the other options or not hearing other person's view an uneven road so hello this is something that i was kind of describing regarding chariots and cancer it's just saying look you're prepared for it okay prepare yourself for the little bumps here and there and you know what they kind of pass you know they perhaps gonna get fixed i'm talking metaphorically and they do eventually and so does in life as well so then don't get just stuck in them okay and go continue continue the drive what we were talking about this here don't you dare stop you have some sort of um very important um for a universe for the whole world something is very important for you to deliver so keep going keep going gemini and on this note i'm gonna say thanks so much have a fantastic month and if this feels like you're gonna play space don't be strangers just kind of like and comment uh, love and light and abundant and i'll see you in the next reading Ta -da.